What's happening, people? Welcome back to the Brothers Geek Out podcast. Another episode for you guys. And we've got a special guest, the other brother, Ashraf, from the Lonely Brothers podcast, where he has no subscribers. Snap joke. <laughs> uh, we've got invited Ash today because uh, people can't make it. Uh, and we're able to kind of schedule time with Ash. But guys, as usual, it's just two brothers giving our thoughts on pop culture and TV, movie world. Uh, giving you updates <clears throat> on the news and what's happening in those world and obviously we give our thoughts on real world issues and whatnot check the description guys if you don't want to hear our thoughts about what, what we've been up to or real world issues you can go to the description and get straight to the geek out news um, and also all the different um, topics will be there so if you want to hear something specific if you want to hear us talk about something specific that's happened this week or whatnot then uh, you can check the description and get straight to that part Guys, as always, thanks for the love uh, for all the, uh, you know, considering we've been shadow banned, we actually reached 700 subscribers, got up to 700. So, you know, still, um, you know, on an average 25 subscribers a month, which is great. You know, that shows that there are people out there listening and enjoying the content. So we really appreciate you. Um, and, you know, we can just keep doing our thing, really. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for the love and, and all that stuff. And um, yeah, man, on that note, man, another episode. We've got some fun stuff to talk about this week. And we got Ash. Ash, what's happening, bro? What's going on with you, man? Nothing, bro. It's been a while since I've joined the podcast. Just been lonely, man. You know, the lonely podcast. So, us brothers have made this joke now that um, I'm not on the podcast enough. So, I've started my own podcast called The Lonely Podcast, where I have no subscribers. So, yeah, but generally cool, man. Video. But, guys, no, on, on the real, yeah. though. All the gaming footage you see on the gaming channel is from Ash. He's the one yeah. playing the games and whatnot. So lonely guy playing his video games is on the <laughs> channel. Um, and we do sometimes transfer clips over to the main channel when, you know, something epic happens in the game and whatnot. But do check out the Brothers Geek Out gaming channel for yeah, well, gaming footage and stuff. But yeah, go on, Ash, what else have been going on, bro? Yeah, nothing much, man. Just a busy morning as always, you know, getting the kids ready. It just My, my son goes to the mosque trying to get him ready and then trying to do the laundry trying to get the washing in you know trying to get ready for the the ne- you know for the next week man you know um just been busy man work gym um getting back into routine fast month was done so I was, I was fasting while training off you know after work so it was good I lost weight um which is brilliant but at the same time it's like dad did I want to lose that weight because I've lost a bit of bulk but I, I don't know I don't know it's one of those training things me and you were discussing about creatine yesterday which we'll probably touch bases on um that's it bro just busy man being a father is so tough at times it's so stressful you know because you just boom 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 you're, you're on the go you don't really switch off and the moment you do switch off you, you fall asleep mm. that's it you know I so said yeah the other night I it just went to sleep by eight. I sat there. I was like, yeah, cool. And then I fell asleep with the controller in my hand <laughs> playing games. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Other than that, it's been good. It's been good, bro. I can't complain. God's good. You know, we just, just keep pushing through, man. That's, That's it. it, man. That's it. Cool, man. Well, that's yeah. good. It's good. It's good to hear that. It's going good. Mm-hmm. I'm just still hustling. Same here. Same here. Just hustling for the week. Um, uh what you call it hustling through the week just getting getting through man get back at the routine mm. i need to get back at the training i've been training but not martial arts so i get back into martial arts next week um mm. just had some just some problems at so out the house has still got a, a freaking hole in the ceiling so to get that sorted uh the mm. missus flies to poland on monday night so we're gonna be alone yeah. here for a month um so just gonna just train really and like what else am i gonna do just chill and train um yeah, i've done a i've done a medical well actually i've done a full blood test basically just to kind of check on all different kind of levels of of being minerals and uh vitamins and what i'm low or deficient in um my testosterone and all that sort of stuff so really interesting i've always wanted to kind of do that to see how i can get better performance out of myself or whatnot just kind of make sure my health is in a good place i mean overall the doctor said like nothing alarming we went through it today it was like an hour call to go through almost everything so the procedure, normally, like, you know, you get a blood test done and they, they, they give you results on what you're low on. But you said you went in depth with this, um, with this, uh, what do you call, medical report, medical check on yourself. Like, what do they do? Take urine sample and stuff like that? Like, how, how does it work? I, I don't know, man. For the viewers and the listeners, they may yeah. want to know, like, is it, what's it like? 
Yeah, so this is yeah, this is not just going to the doctors and a GP because they just test for mm. one specific thing and that's it. It's in and out. They don't really go into details or whatnot. So I paid yeah. separately for this uh, mm -hmm. with a specific medical company or whatnot. And I'm just pulling mm. it up just so I can kind of give you an idea. But yeah, basically what mm. happens is they come to they came to the house. They took literally five samples of blood, not just one sample. They took five wow. little things of blood, whatever you call them. And then yeah, they took a yeah. urine sample. You have to fast for 12, at least 12, hour, uh, 12 hours or whatnot. But okay. just to give you an idea of, of, it's like a the report is like a 20, how long is this? 21 page report. And Damn. it breaks <clears throat> down each thing into each like molecule or whatever. I don't know the science of it, right? So when they talk about iron, it's not just yeah. one eye. It's not just iron. That's it. it yeah. It's different yeah. building blocks of that, for example. But yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. it, it's like my urine you uric acid acid loss like my urine samples and all that sort of stuff and just to see yeah, yeah, yeah. there's different elements yeah. of that then they go into uh, my cholesterol levels so they yeah. test all of that then they go into my liver functions and they test oh, wow. all of that. and again like i said there's like on the liver function you've got and i don't understand all these things man but you've got like seven eight different talking points total protein um bilirubin mid bin and all these scientific words, GGT, uh, gamma, <laughs> gamma transfer, like gamma radiation, yeah. I don't know, loads of stuff. Gamma so radiation. That, um, they go into, uh, what is this? Uh, creatine, to see what my creatine levels are like. Mm. Um, they go into glucose, to see how my glucose mm. levels mm -hmm. are like, you know, diabetes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, creative proteins, uh, glycemic hydrogen, Again, stuff that I'm not familiar with, but this is where the doctor mm. kind of takes you through my calcium levels. They take you through my and do uh, do they do they do like a consultation at the end once you get the report? Said have you read for the report uh, or do you phone them and say, look, can we discuss things? No, yeah. So they well? called me today morning. So they put to talk. They, they schedule time to talk you through it. So literally every okay, point. Nice. So sodium, potassium, my testosterone mm. levels, uh, my mm -hmm. iron levels. Like I say, under iron. There's so many different elements. After ev under everything, there's so many different like medical points. You know what I mean? Like so, it's it's um. Listen, I, it was interesting. Like I say, like there was nothing mm. alarming for me, but mm -hmm. it's interesting to know because I was anemic back in the days, and yeah. I'm actually still kind of <clears throat> anemic, even though I take iron pills for the longest time. And he's basically mm. saying, well, since you're supplementing on iron, it might be a, a thing where your body's not really absorbing the iron. So, you know, mm. he's recommended, like, make sure you take, like, 100 milligrams of vitamin C with your iron to help absorb it. Make sure when you take your iron, maybe take it 30 minutes before dinner or mm -hmm. while you're eating. Mm -hmm. And then he also just recommended if you want to just look into your iron as well, because there could be some physical things. It goes, you know, go, go to your doctors and speak to, ask them to go see a specialist, medical specialist. Mm -hmm. And then show them the results, and then they could kind of physically look at you and your and, and see what they can um, diagnose with the eye and stuff like that. So I mean, those are those are things. So, yeah, that sounds good, man. Like um, because of we were just I was chatting to you the other day, and obviously I take supplements as well, um, iron, blah 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 blah. And I kept saying you like my stool sample, not getting into too much detail, is is black, and I'm like, damn, what's going on? Like, what is it? So you said, Ashley, you may be having too much iron, man. So. I think this checkup is probably ideal for everyone to do maybe once or twice in their life, man. Maybe even more, bro. If you, I mean, well, if you can afford it, because it's, yeah, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. It costs yeah, about, it's not it cheap. Costs about 250, 260 quid. It's not cheap at all. Yeah, so I bet it's worth it, though. If you say once a year, I mean, if you put that in mind, you put two, 300 pound. But that was 300 pound for the, you and your wife, right? Uh, No, no, it was... Uh, 300 no. each each but 250 quid each so if listen financially some people can't afford to waste that kind of money of future. course but if you yeah, can yeah, yeah. it's good to get it done but then also you have to work on it you can't just get it done yeah. and be like oh this this and that and then that's it you've got to work on some of those things so that's what i'm i mean end of the day my doc, the doctor said listen like you're not mm. in a position you're healthy so you're not in a position where something's alarming but mm -hmm. these are points that you can work on so i'm going to work on them mm. i'm going to work on top yeah, of these course things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's interesting I've, I've always been my main thing was like I'm 39 now I mm. I tried to train hard still I wanted to see what my testosterone levels were my testosterone levels was above average which is great 
uh, but that mm -hmm. might lead to a little bit of rage issues. He said he's like he was trying to ask like, "Are you taking?" I'm like, "No, I'm not taking no steroids or whatnot." He said this is <laughs> a very slight amount above, so I'm good. But he goes an extensive mm -hmm. amount could lead to rage and anger. I'm like, you know what? I do. I am angry. I mean, that's something. Um, mm -hmm. it could lead mm -hmm. to loss of sleep, which is one of my big problems. I can't sleep properly. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's a very interesting thing, man. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this every six months or a year, to be honest with you. Uh, and I'm going to work a little points here and there, you know. I mean, I was we were talking about taking creatine yesterday. The guy told me, like, for now, hold off the creatine just because my uric mm -hmm. acids are higher. And he said that could be mm. that could be due to protein, too much protein. So he's like, let's test that and see if let's reduce a bit of your protein right now and test it. So I, mm. I might have to go on that That's... for a little bit and test it. If it's not that, then you know, yeah. I'll, like, I'll get back on the higher protein and take the creatine and try. We've got to try something else, but it's yeah. an interesting. I mean... That is very interesting, man, because you don't know there's the breakdowns within your body, man. Like you just think it's iron and this and that, but there's like you just said, there's there's categories within the iron and so on and so forth. I don't I don't know the medical terms behind it, but there's so much to it, you know. And we were talking about creating yesterday. Obviously, we're both we both train. Uh, I train four to five times a week, um, and at times I feel a bit deflated because I'm not maybe not seeing as much progress as I want. And I do train hard and I cycle, so I get that cardio in, and I train. So you know, I've always joked about taking steroids, which I never will, guys. Yeah, right. it's just it's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, but creatine, everyone tells me get on it, you will see improvements. And we, you sent me that link yesterday, and there, yeah, there was a lot of health benefits. At the same time, there was a lot of scary things such as hair loss um what was it uh what was it? It was a hair loss putting away like massive weight yeah, and this that's and that, overdo man. it though that's, that's what i'm saying like yeah. with all this stuff like people are like oh the average protein you should take this much we should consume that which is all good but the thing is everyone's body is individual everyone's life's individual and that's why during one of these <laughs> tests like yeah you mm. can stick to the average i'm gonna take averagely this much protein this much creatine this much carb, whatever right that, that, that's fine if you can't take these kind of tests but for me, yeah. I'm in a position where I can. So it's like, you know what? Maybe the average might not be good for me. Maybe I need to take more. Maybe I need to take less. And that, that's mm -hmm. that's why this, you know, like I say, I was going to take the creatine. But after this, I'm like, mm. I'll hold for now on the creatine. And maybe I'll take it in six months or so. Mm. I'm looking to get some. I'm planning to go, like, you know, walk down the road, see, check Holland. But I'm not going to buy anything just yet. But I'm going to go Holland and buy it. Maybe get their advice because sometimes they're quite, they're quite healthy in there. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of people. A lot of people say, yeah, do it you know because you train hard um get on it you'll see the difference maybe not straight away but in six weeks time you will see a difference um but let's see i mean you spoke about joe rogan uh, on that podcast um i didn't watch the podcast to be honest yeah, with you but what was his thoughts he's spoken about it and it looked creatine is something that we produce naturally in our body anyway right but mm -hmm. apart from the physical and training benefits which is good because it helps get more water into the bloodstream and makes you kind of have more endurance or whatnot it helps with like cognitive function and stuff. And that's what I'm more interested in these days, right? My mm -hmm. brain function. Well, I want my brain to be healthy. I want, I'm trying to get my brain healthier in regards to like work and learning and, you know, when I'm reading books and all that sort of stuff. So that's why mm -hmm. I got actually interested in it. Not really because of the training performance side of it. That will be a benefit, mm -hmm. but it was more about the cognitive function. That's why I take like, you know, lion's mane and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, nootropics and stuff like that, because I'm, that's what I'm more interested in. So, yeah. you know, it, that, that's the thing. But the, the side effects is basically if you overdo it with mm -hmm. That I mean, let's say mm -hmm. if you overdo it, that's obviously going to be the, the problem. So anything, I, anything. Yeah, you overtake, I was planning yeah. to, I even with all my supplements, I actually never take the daily recommended amount. I put like, uh, if it says two scoops or twice a day, I'll do it like once a day or one scoop. That's, mm -hmm. that's just me. Mm -hmm. um, so even okay. with the creatine, I wasn't even going to take the recommended amount. I was just going to take, you know, half of that, just add a touch to mm -hmm. my shake, basically. So that's yeah, what I I'm, recommend I'm, as well. Mm, yeah, because like, like I take impact whey protein and I take carbolin, which is uh, electrolytes and carbs um, to give you energy throughout your training, which I cut down, to be honest with you. Um, but now with the creatine, I'll probably take it twice a week, man. Uh, Monday, I would the say, beginning of the week. I would say well, try it, buy yeah. it, and go mm. through that cycle that you bought, and then just see mm -hmm. at the end of it, see how you feel with it. Like you should know it down. Like how do I feel mm. today? How do I feel after taking mm. it? Mm. And then mm. by the end of your like, you should start now before you've got it. How do I feel today? How do mm. I look today? What's mm. my weight? Blah 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 blah. Mm. Then mm. get on it for the month. How do I feel today every day? And kind of lock that down. When you finish that cycle, your pot or whatever mm. it is. 
then you could be like, well, okay, let me compare it. Does it did it work for me? Yeah. Did I feel good? Did I feel the same? Did I see no difference? Mm. Did I feel great? Do I look different? Then you can kind of decide that like, actually it worked for me. Let me get get on it. You know what I mean? So don't yeah. want to cycle yeah, yeah. thing. Um, Kibler just sent Kibler just sent a message. You won't be making it. He said, "All right, yeah, Kibler's busy. That's cool. I know it's been a busy he week." Busy. Um, mm. he's but yeah, was getting married. So yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. That's it. That's cool. I mean, look, we got you, which is good, and we're putting the content out there because there's news and stuff to geek out about, which we will get into. Guys, look, yeah, we'll get straight into it. We'll get into like real world issues. And guys, as always, check the description if you don't want to hear our thoughts on real world issues then, you know, check the description. You can skip, skip this and whatnot. But we're always going to talk about specifically right now the situation in Gaza. This has this was what got us uh, shadow banned and whatnot, but we don't give mm -hmm. a shit. We're still going to talk about it. And you know what? We still got people who do listen to our content and still, still watch our, you know, geek out content and trailer reactions and all that stuff. But this is, this is something that's horrible that's happening in the world right now. Uh, and we won't get mm. deep, deep into it today, but what, you know, some of the stuff that is still going on, there's still a genocide going on in um in gaza and according to the icj you know there's a plausible genocide and they're doing the course so you know people just saying yo people throwing that throwing around that world word genocide end of the day man by listening to the courts and and just experts on it that's the, that's the perspective i'm gonna take you're not mm -hmm. you're not not just killed that nearly thirty four thousand mm -hmm. innocent people because we don't even know how many of them are, are the terrorists they haven't shown mm -hmm. that um, also destroyed their schools, their water supply. You're not allowing aid coming in. You're basically trying to get rid of the whole of the people and whatnot. But what's happening right. now, which is heartbreaking, is like all these, again, the, the, there's all these protests going on at universities and whatnot, and respect to those people uh, protesting against the genocide. But then the mainstream and the propaganda and these, these, these inhuman um, politicians... Acts. Yeah, 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 they 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 highlighting that these protests are violent. They're anti-Semitic, and Jewish mm -hmm. students are not feeling um, safe. That's all bullshit. Now I'm not saying all protests are are not violent. There are some that so there are some idiots that will go there. That's for sure. And there are some mm -hmm. things that might kick off, but the mainstream is just focusing on that. And these protests, a lot of them are Jewish. The Jewish Voice of Peace. They're, they're holding protests. There's Muslims, there's black people, white people, e Asia, e everyone there. It's a multi-culture, it's a human protest. It's not just, mm -hmm. but, but the, that Yahoo in freaking Israel, that Yahoo, I can't believe he even said this. He said that they're all Nazis. These protests are, mm -hmm. are Nazis, they're anti-Semitic. Yeah. This is how, un cool. this is what I'm saying, that this guy's, the, the, the Israeli um, leadership are not Jewish. They've hijacked that religion. The fact that they're mm -hmm. calling Jewish people protesters who are who are just being human and who are basically protesting against the genocide the fact that he's calling them nazis and he's mm -hmm. calling them mm -hmm. anti-semitic that's how you know that, the it? israeli politicians yeah. they're just not jewish this, they're hijacked well, that religion um yeah. so that and the mainstream media they all all they're talking about is the protest and why because they're trying to take your attention off what's happening in gaza because mm. what's happening in gaza hasn't stopped they found a mass grave of nearly like 400 people, man. And it was horrible to, some people were tied up. There's women, children in there. Wow. They're like that... disgusting. And the mainstream media is not covering that. So all oh, why? Because they're just focusing on the protests. Oh, the protests yeah. are violent, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. It's all, again, mm. propaganda bullshit. I can't believe that. Listen, the, that's why the youngsters are protesting because they're seeing through the bullshit. Right. Mm -hmm. So these politicians are going to keep trying this stuff. Yahoo, that Yahoo's going to say stuff. The politicians in the US who are paid off by by the Israeli, that by APEC and whatnot, they're going to be saying mm -hmm. this stuff. But <clears> end <throat> of the day, man, the people are seeing through this bullshit. And that's why these protests are happening. Respect to those people. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's heartbreaking. Guys, don't forget what's happening in Gaza. Don't let that the bullshit mainstream take your mind of what's happening there. That's a strategy so they can carry on their war crimes and the genocide that's happening. In, <clears throat> in Gaza, it is sad, man. It is, it is, it's, it's, it's emotional, bro. That's the honest truth. Um, when you see video, I can't, I can't see that. I can't watch the videos. I genuinely break down, bro. Especially when it comes to kids, I, I, I start crying, bro. You know, even the thought of it, it gets me emotional and teary, man. But it's, it's inhumane now, bro. Of what's happening, 
what they're doing to Gaza and the Palestinians, the Muslims, people, people, man. What's happening? It's, it's, it's sad, man. It's like you said, what's his name? Yala, Hala, I don't even know his name. Yolo, uh, Yahoo. Um, yeah, Yahoo. Oh, well, he, that, that terrorist. The, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Just, to, just, to, but he just doesn't know what he's talking about, man. It's like you said, they, they don't, they just took on the religion. That's all it is. No, they hijacked it. They hijacked it. The hi- well, hi- yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I always like... say this to kids. Like, we, it's free Palestine and it's free the Jewish religion from these from these people who've hijacked it. Of course. It. Because of course. Our real, the real Jewish and brothers and sisters who are protesting against the inhumane stuff that's going on there, they yeah, know yeah, yeah. that they've hijacked their religion. So we have to also look out for our Jewish brothers and sisters. Yeah, I mean, there was a protest... Saying, uh, there was a protest recently in Stamford Hill, and obviously in Stamford Hill, Stockton to North London, there's a very big Jew- Jewish community, and the- these Jewish men and women were generally protesting for the people of Palestine, the people, not the Muslims, people. As, as, it's not them, man. It, it was emotional, bro. When you saw it online, you think, "The hell, man! It's not. It's not Jewish. It's, it's more the Zionist people. That's how I see it." It's the Zionist. I don't know. It gets me emotional, bro. It gets me it's, sort of tongue tied <clears throat> when I think about it. You know it. what it is? It's a hard. It is a hard topic to talk about. Everything that I say, I'm I'm listening to. Like I say, I listen to. I keep saying this. Independent <clears throat> news sources, breaking mm. points. Mark Lamont mm-hmm. Hill. You got you know Yassin uh, Basim Yusuf who's going Basim, around yeah. giving so, these things, uh, Norman Frankenstein, all of these guys are giving out knowledge and stuff you should learn. I just read a book or listened to a book by Norman Ch- uh, Chomsky, um, and it's called uh, uh, Who Ru- Who Rules the World? And it just mm. it talks about all of this, but just it goes into so much depth about the government, the Western world, you know, mm-hmm. the, the, like, the whole world. And it, it just really breaks down the state of the world today and how it's in this position today from different governments and different way different countries, different superpowers act or whatnot. Um, mm-hmm. And again, the mainstream media is, is all part of the propaganda machine. That's what it is. The mainstream media is not real news. It's propaganda. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And each country probably has their own news propaganda. Like people think yeah. that China and Russia don't have their, of course they do. The, the West has it too. BBC and all these mainstream New York Times, they are the Western propaganda media sources. And mm-hmm. Russia and China and all the other countries, they have their own propaganda fit. That's just facts. Like, they all fit. So people, yeah. it's up to us as individuals to, like, again, listen to uh, certain historians like Norman Finkersy, like Norman Chomsky, and uh, listen to books and listen to yes. independent news sources who are not corrupted yeah. by, you know, government officials and political views yeah. and not paid off by um, advertising dollars or whatnot. And they give the real news. Uh, but again, yeah. some it's, people it's, won't listen to that stuff. Some people believe what they see on the mainstream. So yeah. my my like my colleagues, man. I mean, don't get me. Wrong, I, I like my colleagues. They're fun guys. They 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 cool guys to chill with. But when it comes to this topic, they just follow what the media the media is saying. And I I don't try and get into it at work. It's not a place of, you know. But I try and educate them and tell them. You know, but they just they're just so blindsided by what the media showed them. That's what they believe that but that's because they're, they're, how old they're, they're, how old are they? They're old, right? How I mean old yeah, I mean like, like fifty-five and yeah, fifties. So there was okay, exactly. So there was I was just watching it on breaking points the other day, and they were gave it they gave a a, a chart to see who mm. at what age who consumes what news from where. And fifty yeah. four, I think it was forty-five and above was mm. mainstream like Fox News, BBC News. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. That's why. Because they that's why the younger generation, they get yes, people are gonna say this, oh whatever, right? But they get their news from social media. But the fact is, social media, <laughs> yes, can be full of shit, but also mm. it is a real source because people from Gaza are, are literally filming what they're seeing and mm. posting it straight onto social media. So it's actually live, mm. it is a live from of yeah. news and whatnot. So that's why these old people, you can't blame them because they're already embedded into the mainstream mm. news. So that's just according to stats. Three yeah. people above yeah. 50 aren't going to be <clears throat> listening to the mainstream and the mainstream is propaganda. I think the mainstream should be held accountable and should be taken to court in complicit mm. to genocide. That's what I think. Mm. Um, 
But yeah, yeah oh, man. No. Anyway, that that's all that. Listen, we won't get too too. You know, we could spend hours talking about yeah. it. But at the end of the day, I'm not an expert. We're not experts. We have we're human beings. We care for <clears throat> human lives. It doesn't matter who it is. But what's upsetting is because, and the reason why we discuss it and why it affects us, is because injustice <clears throat> is happening, and we're supposed the mainstream and the world that we live in. It's giving us the news to be like, oh, it's supposed to happen, it's fine, let those people die, we don't care. That's why we speak up. If the if the mainstream, if the world was actually heroes and, and uh, you know, trying to do the right, right thing for world peace, we wouldn't even mm. have to say anything. We wouldn't even feel anything because we'd be like, you know what? The people in charge are looking out for world peace. We don't have to do anything. We're in a good position. But because that's not happening and yeah. we don't, you know, Anyone who's of, you know, be it Palestinian or, or coloured are not colored. seen as human. We have to speak out for that because it's, it gets emotional. It gets emotional of because course. it affects us as well, like in the sense that I'm, I'm a coloured person. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm not looked as the same human being as, 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 as some of a, you know, Caucasian. So when I'm at Caucasian, I'm talking about the politicians who, who make yeah. the decisions, who like to blow people up. So that's why mm -hmm. people are speaking out, man, because we can't rely on the so-called world the leaders so-called so yeah. world peacemakers they're doing genocide they're killing off you know the zionist movement man they, they they're doing what they they set out to do which is steal the land and kill people in genocide and that's why we speak out but yeah look guys you know just want to quickly touch on that let's get into some of the geek out news um oh. so let's get into it what's up uh oh Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Everything cool? No, it's cool, bro. Yeah, everything's cool, man. It's just someone's ringing on the door. Um, All right. But I think, it, I think it sells people. I don't want to open the door, man. I'll leave it, leave it, leave it. All right, cool. Well, let's, yeah. get, into some, let's get into some geek out news, man. Yeah, let's All talk right. about so things, geek out things stuff. we watched. And this week, the mm. internet blew up with the epic Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, where we finally yeah. saw Wolverine and Deadpool together. It blew up the internet. I have not, it came out Monday. I, I, my God, it's the first time in a while Marvel got me hyped. I was mm. happy. I watched that trailer multiple times. Yeah, man. Oh, like this movie has got to be like a billion dollar movie without fail. The chemistry That's between it. these two, even in as human beings, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. They're, they're, they're just, mates, they're friends. They're mates, exactly. And then just, the, leg like the, the legendary collaboration which you read in comics, you know, Wolverine and Deadpool. Mm. Um, just it's finally happening, man. Finally happening. Um, and, I, oh, man, that trailer was so good, man. That trailer was good. It's good to see Wolverine back. Uh, Hugh Jackman, he's in, yeah. he's in his full yeah, yeah. costume. Oh, costume, yeah, man. And, and the best thing is, his arms are showing, man. There was a point I thought, oh, they're not going to show his arms, man. And Wolverine shows his arms off because he's a muscular guy. And they got to... And, the best thing about the gloves, it comes out of the metal, the metal pieces on his gloves. Bro. They're like, oh man. It's it, so it, awesome. It, I hope he wears the cow at one point. Oh, please. They have yeah. to, man. I understand that his, his hair does look like that, but the attention to detail is amazing, man. The way Wolverine is, you see him at the bar and that's all he's always drinking. Um, and the chemistry straight away, man. Get get away from me, old little lady, or uh, you know, yeah, little <laughs> lady. Like immediately, <laughs> you're laughing. I, I love it. I mean, That's... there's so much things. I mean, in that trailer. I mean, listen, like I I don't watch the breakdown videos anymore. I'm not into that because I just just too much. That those videos killed it for me after Doctor Strange, and I don't want to see those. But I've seen those of things. Um, you know, there was the big dead body of, and so I think this is going off. A portion of it is going to be old man Logan's story from the comics, mm, and in that mm -hmm. comic, basically, he was. I think it was Mysterio actually that, put, but that made him think that um, the mm. X Men were his enemy. So Wolverine ended up, ended up killing a lot of his own, uh, his teammates, his family, the X Men, oh, or what. Damn. Okay, um, so yeah, anyway, yeah. he goes into this sort of depression or whatnot. And but anyway, I think so. I think I think the old man Logan story is going to be a part of this. You saw big dead body of Ant Man or or Giant yeah. Man. You saw Giant um, Man. there was other characters like uh, uh what's her name uh, Lady Lady Deathstrike. Um, yeah. Uh, Azazel was, and some of the other X Men. There's a few other characters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Apparently, there was a guy. So she, the, she, the, the Thomas. You know the, the uh, Punisher, the one with um Nick, uh, not Nick John, John Travolta. And Thomas, what was the guy who played it? Was it Thomas Wayne or something? Uh, I can't, no, I can't remember. That's Batman's dad, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't remember his name too much. I'm going to have to put his name, man. Uh, anyway, okay. there was that big Russian guy with the stripy T-shirt. He's in, he's in yeah. the comic books. He's in the Punisher comic books. Um, Welcome home, Frank. He's in that comic book. Anyway, apparently he's in it as well. Like, there's a picture of him. And listen, that, that makes me geek out. Because right? mm. there's so many possibilities in this movie. We saw at the end the Doctor Strange portal, right? Yeah. Where does that lead them? I mean, obviously they're going to jump through multiverses. Who else is going to be in this movie? This is what's going to be exciting about this movie, but this is why I've got to kind of stay off social media. But yeah. where are they going to take them? Who are they going to get involved? Like, are they going to mm. do a little... Like, for me, bro, I would geek the fuck out if they put the Punisher in there just for a moment. Mm. If they put Hulk in there, like if Wolverine and Hulk kind of square off a little, because that's... Wolverine was first ever... His first ever appearance was with the Hulk. Um, mm. I believe so, it was with the Hulk. Uh, where he was going out to hunt the Hulk and whatnot. Do they have a, a moment like that? Do they have Spider-Man in there for a split second for Deadpool to tease him or whatnot? Like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. possibilities are crazy, man. The portal that they jump in, do they jump into the fight in any games? Could you imagine the shit that, go, that can, they can do with this movie? It, no, bro, no. I, it, it's so There's awesome. a lot of potential, isn't it? There's a lot of potential. But the reason why I don't want to get too hyped, because I had all that like hype for Doctor Strange, multiverse of madness by left. watching too much theories and all that stuff and then it yeah. wasn't all that so i don't, I don't <clears> want to get too hyped i just want to still go in with with my expectations yeah i know i know what you mean that's why I, I i avoid watching anything in depth like yourself man. i watch the trailer and that's it because you go in depth man and people just ruin it and you know it's false rumors and this and that i just want to stay away and just wait until the movie itself and just keep that hype man it looks good man there's so much hype with wolverine at the moment i was just saying like there's a wolverine game coming out there was like a li little leak of the gameplay which it actually looks really good then the movie and there's all these statues from prime one and xm studios and these statues are looking crazy man that's like the one third scale we spoke about that one looks brilliant so there's a lot of attention with wolverine which is good because he's an underrated X-Men character. He is he is X-Men, you know? Um, but it would be good if we get to see, I don't know, X-Men in the in the original costume. I don't know. You never know, man. You might see Henry Cavill as a uh, Cyclops. You should never know the, the possibilities they could bring, man. But and let's see we've got a way. Different variants of Wolverine. I mean, there's so many rumors about different <clears throat> variants of Wolverine. We'll wait and see. Yeah. I don't want to yeah, listen. Like... I'll be I want to be excited about I'm gonna be excited about the movie anyway, but I don't want to go in with too many expectations because that will just you know ruin it. So I'm just gonna I want to go in and accept it for what it is. But I, I without a doubt, I think it's gonna be awesome anyway. I, I just don't mm. I just don't think it's gonna be bad. It's just awesome. Nah, nah, nah. Regardless, bro, we're, we're going to enjoy it. It's one of those things, even though we take back and we just think, we laugh, we enjoy it for what it is. Yeah, we have our little sneaks here and there, but overall, we just enjoy it, man. You know, that's the main thing, bro. It's been so many years. How many years have they been trying to get this? Or have we been asking for it and they announced it? Bro, the hype was unreal, man. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so, so, so cool. Oh, wait, I'm taking um, a day off work. I, I'm already, like, I'm taking a day off I, work. I'm, I'm booking, like, I'm booking, like, the Odeon Lux with the recliner seats. I'm going to make sure I make the most of it, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely man. All right, well, guys, that was a hype. That bought the internet this week, for sure. Yeah. Um, but let's get, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. X-Men I just to discuss, oh, uh, uh, yeah, me and Kibler went to watch an awesome movie yesterday. It's called uh, Boy Kills World. Oh yeah, yeah. And, Without yeah, spoiling, and, give us your thoughts. Well, no spoilers though. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I tell you something now. I mean, the cast in the cast was amazing. You know, you got your your Bill uh, Bill Scudsgard, big mm -hmm. yeah, that's a Bill Scudsgard. You had a uh, Andrew Koji, uh, and then you had a guy from the raid. Uh, let me check. Uh, I, I'm that's it. It. Yeah, I'm yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. Ruhin, I think that's it. I'm, guys, sorry, my pronunciation. But anyway, the cast was amazing, bro, man. The film was absolutely eye-catching. Uh, it's gory as hell. Like, it's the action that you want to see. It starts from the beginning, and it's it was just, yeah, it was just a kid about his ima wild imagination, going through something, I don't want to spoil it. But it's the inner voice that he has, yeah, that makes you laugh and the characters that you meet. It was brilliant, man. I'm telling you, the, the martial arts was brilliant. Um, the story was people, good. Yeah, like you got yeah, Andrew people, Koji man. in it. You got um, yeah, what's her name? Andrew, Fun, uh, Andrew, Andrew mm. Koji Gilwood was hilarious in the movie, man. Really? I found it so funny. Yeah, because he plays he plays the Bruce Lee or not Bruce Lee? He's Bruce, in the warrior. Bruce Lee. 
He's yeah. in the Warrior, yeah. So obviously yeah. in Warrior was a very serious, serious guy, but in this he was hilarious, man. Well, I you couldn't stop laughing. The kid who played the kids who, who's in the boy, uh, the, the boys, boys yeah. Uh, yeah, Cameron, yeah, yeah. Cameron Covid. You got you mentioned Yayan Wahyu who's a G. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's also awesome, Ble- uh, Gilman, Gilman, who yeah. I've known, who yeah. I've known for shaved in uh, yeah, shaved, in, yeah, in yeah. and he was in uh, Ball League, wasn't it? Yeah, Ball League, Ball League. Well, but I always call yeah, for like shaved. Uh, you've yeah. got uh, Charlotte, Sha, Sha, uh, Charlotte Copley, the South African actor in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in it. Yeah, he was. Because, listen, man, I'm I'm looking forward to watching. So the action is 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 very creative action. Uh, yeah, uh, it was creative action, gory, fun to watch, entertaining. Um, the cast was brilliant. Bill Skarsgård, honestly. He, he he was perfect. He's a good action star, man. His martial arts was brilliant. I was like gobsmacked on how they shot it and uh the moves he was pulling off i'm like wow um i gotta give it to him man he's, he's an up-and-coming actor he's doing well for himself his brothers have done well for themselves so he, he he's doing good man it's, it's it's produced by uh sam raimi as well so, yeah. yeah yeah, yeah sam which raimi, is, i see that yeah yeah it's produced by sam raimi um but it was fun I, anyone that that's listening to this go watch it it's a must like i i i sat there from the beginning to end thinking you kind of don't want it to end because the martial arts is just so awesome man so gory and so like yeah you'd love it you'd love it i haven't been seeing it in ages but I'll, I'll definitely wait for this one hopefully they bring this out i i don't go cinema as much that's not true but with this movie i was so persistent with kibla and Jakub. i said guys we need to go cinema we need to watch this movie uh, Jakob had even watched a trailer and he was like, ah, he was going to cancel. I said, yeah, don't cancel. You, you'll you get it. You'll definitely enjoy it. Um, but bro, the imagination that he has and the things that he, yeah, I don't even spoil it, man. I but he, he, you know, I think it's out, it's out of Let me check. Yeah. Oh, you got to watch it, man. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Generally. What is this? Good movie, man. April 27th. <clears throat> so it came out this, it came out this weekend, actually. It did come out ahead, yeah. but it looks like yeah, they're showing pretty... minimal Minimal. T- you know what? Since I'm home yeah. alone, well, what Mrs. is not here, I'll probably go cinema next week to watch it. I, I was a bit like, uh, like disappointed. There weren't much advertisement for it, man. Like I thought, come on, such a big movie, like such a brilliant movie. Um, why, why is there nothing out? You know, I think in Green, they only had two showings, six forty and eight forty, and that was it. You know, so it was a bit like, come on, man. But I, I this movie does deserve its um deserve its um, credit man like the credit goes to everyone in the team and everyone it was brilliant i enjoyed uh, it I'll definitely watch it look. again i know those i yeah. definitely want to watch that uh i know kibs and atio went up to the planet of the apes kingdom mm. of the planet of the apes um that's uh, right uh, premiere and they met um Ah, oh, what's his name? Duran, Ke- Ke- not kevin Duran. that's a freaking bicycle player no uh for, um uh, what's his name man Dirk, Dirk Han, Dirk man, or something yeah. like that. Wow, I'm so bad with names, man. Nah, so am I, so but bad. let me pull it up real quick. Uh, yeah. But yeah, them guys went to check that out, which is which is awesome. Um, well, they didn't get to watch the whole movie, though. Oh, didn't they? Kevin, no, Dur- so they had- Kevin Durant. Yeah, Kevin Durant, yeah. It is Kevin Durant, then. Yeah, um, and yeah what's the same? They didn't watch the whole movie, how come? Um, It was more of a Q and a like the staff, the casting was all there. Yeah, the cast, yeah, yeah, saw, so the cast. Yeah, I saw what's his name. I mean, um, what's his I name? think got a picture with Kevin Durant. Yeah, so the kids, I saw that. Uh, who else is there? The what's the gentleman's name? The British actor. I'm so bad with names, man. Yeah, so am I, but I'm thinking of him now. He, he, uh, he you know, the Gollum the guy, what's Gollum, it? that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I a good name as well. Yeah, I'm so bad at it. I don't see his name on the internet though. I don't know why. Why is it not I, here? Neither do I, man. I wonder if he's behind the cast, uh, the production or something. Why the hell have I gone blank on this guy's name, man? Always do this. All right. I know is they it, went on that. It, All right, cool. Yeah, he's a brilliant actor, as we know. But yeah, they went to half an hour of it. They had a QA all cast and stuff like that. Um, Artie and Kiba said like uh, Kevin Durant was brilliant, he was friendly, you know. Uh, yeah, they said it was good. They said it was good. They can't wait for the movie. I personally, and this is my personal opinion, guys. I stopped following the movie ages ago, man. So Kibler did invite me to go. He said, Ash, come along. Uh, I said, Kibbs, it's just it's in Waterloo, but I can't get home and blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm not really feeling it, man. But, you know, for anyone that, that does love Planet of the Apes and follow it, yeah, go watch it. Definitely go watch it, man. You never know. I might enjoy it. I might watch it one day and enjoy it. 
yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, loads, loads of stuff going on with the uh, uh, with the the Brothers Geek Out podcast. We're still, we're still, you know, keeping busy with all, all the premieres and uh, screenings mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So. Mm-hmm. That's been good on that front. Uh, let's let's move on. X Men ninety seven episode seven, I believe it was. Man, I mean, yeah. look, man, it's been dramatic since Gambit died. It's been tough. Ah, last week I we cried, saw, man. I know. I last cried. week we saw Professor Xavier. Hopefully, he's gonna be coming back. But this week's episode, I mean, another great episode. Everyone's grieving for Gambit. Mm. Vogue was mm. grieving a lot. We got Captain America in this. I mean, yeah, listen, man. I think this one. I'm telling you now. <laughs> I reckon we're going to get an X-Men Avengers crossover because Rogue was asking Cap, was telling Cap, how come you're not doing anything mm. about it? And Cap was like, I'm, mm. I'm on the background looking into it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mm. But he goes, me and my team, we're going to, yeah, he said something about me and my team, we're going to get in. My team, look, yeah. Yeah, General Ross was in it and he made a comment about Hulk. I'm telling you, we're going to get an Avengers, I'm, I'm, I promise you, I, this is what I feel. We're going to get a final episode, X-Men Avengers crossover. That's my feeling. Like, there's something mad that's going to happen. The X-Men are fighting. This is what, mm. the way I'm visualizing. Like, I'm going to get goosebumps. I'm telling you, like, the X-Men are fighting. They're losing. It's like they're going to mm. die. And then the Avengers come to back them up. That's why I feel, man. It'll be, mm. be sick. That would yeah, be sick. That would be sick. I mean, they te- look, Cap was in this. It's great to see Cap, man. I miss him so much from the movies. I'm looking forward to... Uh, uh, Sam okay. Wilson's Captain America uh, and that game yeah. which is good but I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing more Captain America and, and Sam Wilson's character but um, well, this episode was awesome the grievance from everyone Rogue's just going through a lot man I can't even imagine yeah, what they're it's doing quite deep, isn't they're it? doing such a great job you can see it's affecting all of them such as like Cyclops as well mm-hmm. he's it's ta- he's taking it quite hard as well he feels like he feels as the leader of the X-Men he's failed as well he you know when he was speaking to gene gray he feels like he's felt his relationship with her um but you know what i mean they keep pushing forward that was what i think one of the he goes we just got to keep moving forward man and that's what leaders do they they they, they take that hit they cry and they just keep moving forward but he's got to show everyone that your yeah, things will get better i think there was a quote he said there was a quote um i think about dreams man dreams is something that will get us through or so, something along them lines anyway man but it's quite deep the quote. I'll, next time I'll mention it to you. Yeah, but it was good, you know. Um, well, they've done a great job. I mean, this cartoon is not even a cartoon anymore, man. Back in the days when you sit and watch it, you're like X Men, but now is that like, a follow? Still, yeah, there's a story. Of course, there was always a story, but there's something different now. There's so much more emotional investment in this than mm. maybe because we're adults. Maybe we're just geeks. I don't know what it is, but. When, mm. I, I think because I'm an adult now, I get it a bit more. As a kid, you just watch it and you just see the cool action mm. and Wolverine and do what he's doing. But I'm so emotionally invested now. Like every week, I just want to see what's happening. I want more and I want to get deep and dive into the story. I'm looking forward for them mm. to meet, to see Charles Xavier come back, the father of the group, to kind of, to kind of be there for them after they lost the brother who, in, in Gambit. You know, it's so much. Magneto. You know what? I love Professor Xavier, man. He won't, he didn't. Like, I don't mind my like, he didn't bitch out, and he's like, No, I need to get back to my family, I need to get back to my kids, man. They, they don't even refer them to like my, my group, my kids, my family, they're all his family. And there was a point I thought he was going to be a, a bitch and so you know, and say, No, nah, I love you, babes, I'm gonna stay. He's like, No, nah, I'm fuck this shit, man, I'm out of here. Nah, I'm with my, family. my kids, my so, kids, yeah, man. Love so, it. well done mm. to him, man. Like, it's important yeah. that he, you know, don't forget family, man. Definitely. No, I'm looking forward to it, man. I look forward to seeing more. Magneto's obviously still alive. I didn't think Magneto died, to be honest with you. So that I was shocked with. But I don't know who the guy is at the end, man. I was a bit like, I am not. Him? You know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm not familiar with him either. And I didn't research into him, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. There was a cable. Oh, that was awesome. Again, he came back in with a grenade. Yeah. And, then, and he was like, we ain't got time for family reunions and shit. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Scott was like, oh, it's my son. He's like, no, no, don't listen. Right now, we ain't got that time to have that family reunion. Let's let's get on with this, man. Um, Which is awesome. Like, you can the see re- he's been through that war. Yeah, definitely. The reason why I don't want to do research is because all these spoilers come up. So that's why I'll wait till it's done to research more on that character. But I don't I don't want to, like, as soon as you Google it, all this other shit comes out. Like, yeah. lucky I saw the episode, but it immediately, like, Captain America was on all over the social media. Nah, I want to spoil yeah, that. I saw, so. I, I saw, yeah, that's what I said. I'll, I'm not on social media, but I saw it on YouTube. And it was on the YouTube short. It comes up on my phone. And it was just a 
it was X Men '97 and Captain America Shield, and I was like, "Fuck's sake, man!" Like exactly. the hype's gone. Exactly. Like I was hyped, like thinking, "Yes, he's there," but then I'm like, "I want to see it for myself." So guys, stop spoiling shit, man. Yeah, people do it, but I um I lucky I didn't get spoiled. But that's what I'm saying. I, I you know you just gotta be safe on that. Um, but anyway, X Men '97, guys, best thing. I think we've got like, two more episodes left. Something left. I can't have man up. So bitch, <laughs> I want more, but I think we're gonna they'll, get. They'll give us more. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna get, get more, a grand exciting yeah last episode that's what i, I can't yeah, yeah. wait for that um oh, we right. forgot about storm getting her powers as well which is nice yeah she got her powers back of course it's always yeah, in it. yeah. it's in her dna at the end of the day yeah, she just had yeah, a mental yeah. block um yeah. all right guys let's move on to a couple of quickly things that we watch <clears> and we'll just finish off with other news and, and this week's retro movie review, review as well so i got a chance to watch ghostbusters Fallen empire I'm going to be honest mm-hmm. with you guys. When Kibler first gave his review, I was like, oh, no. he Because like, his review was a bit like... And I, I understood as soon as the, the movie started and I got like, I don't know, maybe an hour, like, maybe 45 minutes in, I was like, I could understand why this movie just didn't have the heart like it did. I feel like it lost the Ghostbusters element. Um, there was all these... Pa- have you seen it? No, uh, I didn't get a chance to go see it. Look, I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. it, it yeah. It's not as great as what we the, the, the what we got last time. Um, there's all these powers involved, fire elements and all this shit. Um, oh. You know, the kid. Yes, she's a genius. I get it. But when it's all revolved around a kid, and and is it uh, is it the same same kid? Uh, yeah, Egon's granddaughter. Egon's granddaughter. Right? Right? Yeah, Egon's right. granddaughter. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. she has a relationship with a ghost who's talking to her and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, what oh, is this Casper the Friendly Ghost shit? And then the yeah, guy, yeah. guy from. Um, I can't remember his name, man. The Indian guy. Hold on, let me just check it out. Oh, was... um, I was gonna say Russell Peters, but it's not Russell Peters. Man. What's his name? Uh, I know who you're talking about. I know he, he's in it now. Yeah, to, uh, uh, Kumail Kumail Naj- Naj- Najani. Uh, you know, he's funny. The movie's funny and entertaining and whatnot. But what I'm yeah. saying is, like, he has powers. He's like, I got these power fire powers and shit. And I'm like, what? With the Ghostbusters, man, it was just like yeah. ordinary dudes fighting ghosts, but now it's ghosts. not that normal. It goes all supernatural. I mean, of course, it's all oh. supernatural, but like everyone's having powers and shit. Look, yeah, guys, man. like it, that's, it's that's just the... entertaining to watch. You've got a great cast, all the Ghostbusters come back. I'm surprised they didn't bring back Rick Moranis. I know I, I think he quit acting anyway, but it would be great to have him back. Um, yeah, but all the cast come back, it's fun. It's okay, yeah. but it, it lost the Ghostbusters element to me. Yeah. Like the hype after so, the last one, it was so emotional and hype, and now I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Nah, so see, after you just said that, now like powers and stuff like that, I lose interest, man. Like, come on, man. Like if the trailer made it look really good, but now after what you said and what Kibler said, I'm mean, the only person that gave it positive feedback was Yak. But Yak is a positive guy. He, he sees the good in everything, which he is good. It's not a bad yeah. thing. He likes everything. Like, how much soul do we? I mean, yeah, we do. We do. Never sh- we we like everything as well. Like we don't. I'm just saying that, like, go watch it and enjoy watch it. it. Yeah, there is yeah, funny yeah. moments and whatnot. It's just yeah. like I, I'm. I'm not. You know, I lost a lot of elements. <laughs> lost a lot of Ghostbusters yeah. element for me. Um, no, no, like, no, I'll watch. I'll watch it when it comes out on uh, online or something, man. Yeah, like, it's already out online. Like, that's where I watch it. To be honest, I'm glad I didn't go cinema. To is it? I'll yeah. Send me the link, man, because I have to watch it. Check um, check that thing, man. That app. Oh yeah, um, all right, cool. All right, uh, what else? I'll quickly skip through this. Rebel Moon Two, so that came out. Um, Zack Snyder. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Right? It's, uh, the action and the visuals are fantastic. It's hard for me to concentrate on it. To be honest with you, a lot of it was like I end up getting on my phone or I just let it play in the background. The first one was uh-huh. a little bit about that. Like, I felt the same way a little bit. But you know, I would watch the action scenes and be like, "That's cool," but then like, it just felt. Uh, I- no, I heard that like, the the they kill they kill they killed it with the slow motion. I know mm. better slow motion scenes, and they, they overdone it apparently. I don't know about yeah. overdone it, but it looks cool. Like Zack Snyder's great with his action and and um, visual Vis- um, visuals yeah. expression of action or whatever. So I think he's amazing at that. This I don't know. I think that just like the story. I just felt like it wasn't. There was something about the movie that just didn't capture me. The characters, I didn't get captured by mm. the characters. They're all mm. great. I mean, the cast and everything is great. I'm not saying that. I just, for me, I just wasn't captured. I, after Rebel Moon 1, I wasn't excited to see 2. I'm just like, oh, I I feel we, we, we watched the first one, didn't we? And I fell yeah. asleep. Um, yeah. I, I fell asleep, man. 
So anyway, look, guys, that's my thought. It's on Netflix anyway, guys. Do check it out. The director's cut, his d- director's cut will come out in September or something. And apparently they're supposed to be like whole different kind of movies. So I'll check it out because I'm a fan of Zack Snyder and I like his work and I like his creative mm. work. So I'll check it out. But just not, you know, not, not, not you know, I'm not crazy into it. Um, mm-hmm. I finally got a chance to watch Monkey Man. Like, that was fucking awesome. Dev Patel, oh, that was fucking yeah. awesome. He, yeah, Dev Patel's awesome. Like the training he put in, his acting's awesome. Everything he does, I feel like it's just fantastic. Mm-hmm. He, yeah, he's got a great way of um, showcasing and expressing India and the culture mm-hmm. into his mm-hmm. movies. Now, of course, this movie's focused a lot, because I, apparently I think a lot of it got like, boycotted in India because he expressed a lot of the dark side of India, which every yeah. country has. And we're talking yeah. about yeah. the social issues, the gangster issues, mm-hmm. the prostitution, mm-hmm. the government shit, mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff. Yeah, man. But... This movie, it was, bro, the story, the revenge story for his mother, ultimately, mm. the way he laid out the story, which was great, like, there was not too much backstory, like, the backstory was in the movie, so he didn't mm. waste time building it or whatnot, he got straight yeah, into yeah. it, uh, yeah. the martial arts was great, he looked like he was in yeah. great shape, um, yeah, man. his fighting yeah, techniques, yeah, yeah, the yeah. violence was awesome, they even comment, they, they made a quote about John Wick, everyone said like the Indian John, John Wick, Wick. Yeah, he even yeah. commented, and, so of course start, he was yeah. inspired by these things, but... Man, I yeah. I was, I was. I mean, in. you know, it was. It's a good movie from the start, bro. Start go. Uh, Dave, Dave Patel's a brilliant actor, and plus he had Jordan Peele. Yeah, Peel? Is his name Peel? Yeah. Jordan Peele. John. Yeah, he was in it as well. And uh, uh, bro, it's like you said, man. From the start, it was just brilliant, bro. And it showed a different side. The soundtrack was awesome as well. The visual, not even visual effects. There's just the, the the way it was shot in India was brilliant man even the tuk-tuk like the little tuk-tuk even the way they use that was brilliant um generally i thought our oh, indian movie i'm not really fan a fan of indian movies but i thought this is brilliant man brilliant definitely it shows a different side to india well uh, it's not hollywood indian well. it's, it's 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 not Holly- bollywood, it's yeah. hollywood indian um yeah, yeah, yeah. but i think dev, dev patel he 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 does, like I say he does a great job of in infusing his culture into it and the whole story about Hanuman, yeah, and the Indian yeah, gods yeah. and stuff like that. I'm I'm not familiar with that stuff to be honest with you, but yeah, that's a yeah. part of his culture and he was able to kind of bring that in and the racial yes. divides yeah. and the religion divides and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dev Patel is just amazing. I, I think he's I think mm. he's really talented as as an actor, yes. as a producer, yeah. as a director. I, I think he, he's got a whole. His brain's different, man. He's like he's got that all mm. of that that filmmaking, movie making, story yeah. expression. He's got it all in his head, man. He's 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 fantastic, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I agree with you, man. Like the way he showed the story, it was brilliant, man. Like his his relationship with his mom, um, and obviously the I, again, I don't know the, I don't want to get too much into it, but you know the the men that were dressed as women and. You know stuff like that. I, I, I don't. Again, I don't know if that's a religion or a culture thing. Or I, again, I don't. Don't judge me, guys. Uh, but the way he showed that, how they were pushed out and an outcast into the forest and stuff like that, I felt like there was a bit of a kickboxer scene. You know, when he's training with the bag and the guys playing the drums. Like he had all different t- sorts of elements in John Wick. Um, everything, man. It was good. It was definitely a good movie, man. Um, yeah. He was, he was, I'll, I'll definitely watch it again. I think there's a copy online. It's out uh, on digital. Was... It came out on digital that... already. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it was originally supposed to came out on digital, but De- Jordan Peele was so impressed by it. He's like, no, no, this has to has a fear. has to be a cinema. A theatrical yeah. uh, release. So they released it in cinema, and then like four weeks later, it's come out on digital, which it was originally supposed to come on. So, guys, check okay. it out. Check it out. Highly yeah, recommended. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, moving on, I finished watching Tokyo Vice. Um, I had no idea that he was actually based on real life events. Like that guy, the character in the in the show is actually a real dude. He lives in Japan now, a journalist there. So listen, great show. Like obviously the show was dramatized a bit more. So but a lot of it is based on real life events. He's got his book out called Tokyo Vice and whatnot. It really mm. highlights again Japan, Tokyo, the Yakuza, the police force, the journalists. Like just mm. just how it's all intertwined and the real the real gangster element of the Yakuza organization, which you know again it's just like 
many criminal organizations like the high end ones gets involved in politics and police and journalism and mm, all this sort of stuff. Mm, mm, it's mm. it's freaking fantastic the way it just kind of collaborates with uh, all the different characters. And to watch. And it's got the the actor that played Katsumoto, right? Yeah, can uh what Watabi? Ken Ken Watabi. Ken oh, Watabi, what, okay. Watabi or Watanabi. Watanabi probably. Ken Watanabi. I can't pronounce it, but I think it's Ken Watanabi. He's awesome. Mm. Awesome. Yep. So guys, check that out. Um that's everything I've watched this week. Have you seen anything else you or no? No, nah, nah, nothing. The only thing, you know, I got a PS portal for my wife for Eid. It was a nice gift from her. Um and obviously you you you're quite interested in it. <laughs> I know a lot of friends that I've recommended they they try to get on it now, man. But you know what? It's so it's so fun to play. If you someone such as myself as a busy father, I don't ever get a chance to sit in this room and play games unless it's late at night. But now I'm able to play the PlayStation while downstairs with the kids. And a lot of people think, why don't you take the PlayStation downstairs? I can't. The kids watch TV, so I won't be able to play it. But now having this handheld device, honestly, it's brilliant, man. You gotta have good Wi-Fi um our wi-fi is pretty decent so i get to play which is good man um but yeah that's it anything else i ain't watched nothing new i watched dragon ball z and uh backy i started backy um one piece i started one piece anime and yeah that's long that seems long but it's fun it's fun um that's it bro i ain't watched nothing else man like oh, just I don't get the chance Cool. Chance, all right well let's let's move on let's quickly move on and finish up yeah uh, so with yeah, some yeah. mcu news let's go to some mcu news. just some quick news uh kevin feige asked comic book writers to kill off mm-hmm. kamala khan to make things aligned with the mcu so i find this quite interesting that kevin feige or the mcu universe movie universe is dictating some of the things that they that the comic book writers because mm-hmm. comic books is a source uh, but yeah. it's interesting how he's trying to get things done in the comics to align with the MCU and what they're going to take the MCU in. So that's an interesting alignment I thought was happening there. Uh, 20 mm-hmm. years after Spider-Man 2 release, apparently they bought it out again and made 800000 in the box office. I mean, how crazy is that? 20 years really? after its release, yeah. Know. So I didn't even know that either. I kept seeing it everywhere, but that's freaking awesome. Um and then Marvel's Blade apparently got rewritten again for the fifth time. I don't know what the hell's happening with that Blade movie, but for the fifth I, time... I, I, I read something they're going to start production, like start filming this year or something. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, I think that they're just they're trying to do it, but for some reason it just keeps getting rewritten. Maybe they're not happy with the script. I, I don't know, man, but... I feel sorry for Mahasha Ali, man. He's like thinking, what the hell, man? Sitting there waiting. Well, I think he's involved in, in, in some of this politics or what, um, but I don't know. I don't okay. know. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, that's the MCU news. Um, other movie news. Let's move into other movie news. Um, Face Swap, the sequel to Face Off, is going to bring back Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. So that's going to be interesting that those two come back. Obviously, John Travolta's character dies uh, at the end of that movie, but they still course, yeah. his face and everything. So looking yeah. forward to that. I don't think John was involved in that, but today's uh, um, retro movie new- Remove uh, re- retro movie review. We're going to talk about a classic John Woo movie, but anyway, yeah. face swap. Looking forward to that. Tarantino's mm-hmm. universe, Tarantino's movie universe. So, last week on the podcast, I was talking about how Tarantino's last movie, The Critic, was uh, being uh, stopped. I think Tarantino has moved in a different direction or whatnot. So, I made a comment saying, you know, it'd be awesome if they, they if Tarantino's made a movie of his uh, Tarantino movie universe, right? Yeah, so all yeah, these yeah. different characters in one movie. Apparently this movie was supposed to be that, the Tarantino universe or uh, <laughs> the Quinton universe or whatever you want to call it. So that would have been yeah, sick. Yeah. Um, you know, could you imagine just the different characters? Yeah. All these yeah, different movies be... coming back. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. the dialogue itself would be freaking amazing. So, but yeah. apparently that's not happening anymore. I think he's moving in a different direction, probably. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's it was supposed to be his final movie. So it'd be interesting to see what, what happens next. But that would have been awesome if it did happen. Yeah. Uh, but um, I, you know, I kind of predicted it or I kind of manifested it and that's what was <laughs> going to happen, but didn't. <laughs> um, all right. Moving on. Lord of the Rings trilogy is returning to theaters this June with Peter Jackson's 2020 4K remastered and extended edition. So guys, all you Lord of the Ring fans, if you want to watch a 4K remastered extended edition, go check it out in cinema. I don't think I will, personally, it's a long ass movie and shit, but, um, you know, the movie's already three hours, so I wonder how long an extended edition will be, but 
Yeah, man. No, I mean, it's a great movie. Great yeah. movies. Uh, but I, I can't. I can't even watch a. I can't even watch a half an hour episode nowadays, man, without falling asleep. Yeah. yeah. So. Lord of the Ring fans, check out. All right, cool. Let's move on. Um, you already spoke about the PS4. We we're talking about video games, but you already spoke about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll just move, we'll finish off with um retro movie reviews. And this week we're going to talk about hard boiled 1992 John Wu, Chai Fat, Andy, uh, mm-hmm. Andy, Andy Lau. Is it Andy Lau? Um, is it Andy, Andy Lau and uh, Andy Lung, isn't it? Andy Lung and Chai Fat. Yeah, let me double check. Um, was it Tony Lung? Was it a Tony, Tony Lung? Tony Lung, Tony Lung, Tony, yeah, it. Tony Lung, yeah, yeah. He um, was a uh, uh, Shang Chi's dad, right? Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The legend. So, <laughs> man, listen. So, this movie t- turned thirty-two the other day. Uh, we posted something on our socials. John Wu Instagram, official Instagram. We posted yeah. what we posted, which was awesome to get some. Yeah. You know, there's a connection there with John Wu, which is awesome. We grew up with these with these movies. This movie. Yeah, man. Now this this movie, I think. Well, of course, John Woo was ahead of his time when it came to action yeah, movies, right? All of this course. John Wick, all this extraction, all these action movies came from, coming out. Came from it, him. Yeah, it, it, the lineage was, on that lineage, John Woo was there from the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. This movie, man, I mean, it was ahead of his time. And again, I always say this, man, John Woo does this, have, done, have done this amazing thing where he brought in an actor like Chai Yun Fat and Tony Long, like great actors yeah. to play great yeah, yeah, action yeah. Yeah action parts that, because yeah, yeah, yeah. these action movies have so much um emotion behind of each course. character you know yeah. um, the opening scene is just freaking amazing in the tea house yeah. with the yeah, bird cages yeah, yeah. with the bird cage he's yeah. playing the saxophone or the flute or whatever it is all these characters always have a second talent or whatnot mm. um the um and, and nothing is cooler than like I'm even joking, nothing's cooler than chai and fat with a baby in his arm shooting bad guys. And there's something, again, the, the creativeness <laughs> behind it is just amazing. Like, John Wu was just ahead yeah. of his time. I mean, that scene is so freaking cool. Like, he's got the baby, yeah. he's in the hospital or whatnot at the end. Yeah, of course, yeah. And he's just shooting up people, he's singing him a little mm. lullaby uh, yeah. and whatnot. And I just I just find it, like, creatively amazing. Like, this was back in 1992, uh, yeah, this movie man. was made, and you're just getting this kind of action. The action just, Bro, so yeah, all bro. these long form one cut action scene again. This was hard boiled. Okay, I, I, I want to think. Boiled, isn't it? Yeah. I want to think hard boiled was the first to do this, but at the end there was like a a long form one shot action scene. And yeah, what was amazing yeah, yeah. about this was not only is Chai Yun Fat and Tony Long's character Tequila and what was Tony Long's character? Um, Tequila and. I can't remember his can't name remember. in the movie. Anyway, yeah. they're doing like, you know, tag team, shoot the tag team and whatnot. But it is the emotions in between because the scenes yeah. doesn't stop. So they're doing no. action, action scenes and whatnot. Tony Talking. Long at the at, at, at scene kills a police officer who he didn't know. Because they're in the middle. This, this is what I love about yeah. these movies. They're in the middle of action. They're in the middle of battle with the yeah. action yeah. and whatnot. There's police officer. He accidentally killed a police officer. Yeah, the yeah, scene yeah. carries on. While this long form scene is carrying on, Tony Long's freaking out. I killed, I killed a police officer. I killed a police officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going yeah. through a lift and whatnot, and it just carries on. Like he's yeah. going through this emotion. Chang fast like tequila's like get 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 out of it, man. Yeah, yeah. We, we you know we got it. So and then the action carries on, and it's just yeah. so fantastic the way it's not just a long form action scene. You're getting a long form action scene, one cut action mm. scene with emotions. And everything involved in too is so great that the, the mixture between acting and action acting in, in one scene is ahead of its time. The movie's just so yeah, ahead man. of its time. Hundred percent, man. You know what? Like I said, John Woo had done something special, man. He made uh, g- g- um, shootouts, gun gun martial arts, man, like gun cutter. Yeah, you, you honestly, it's like he brought it out before um Christian Bell did in that movie. What was it called again, man? But yeah, Equilibrium. Yeah, he made gun action movies just look fun bro and he never never finished without emptying the clip man there was points even the killer and i'm sure he's done a review on the killer he would empty that clip out man he made it look beautiful and there was even that game that came out which was called i actually downloaded it on my steam deck oh what's it called stranglehold stranglehold yeah and same thing they had the tea house scene with the birdcage 
That um, it, well, it was just, well, that game, I think, obviously was influenced by John Wall and Chain Fat. It's Chain Fat and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah, it was, Chain Fat, yeah. Um, it was hard oil. I mean, this this yeah. movie does that. Like, you got, again, nothing's cooler than Chain Fat sliding down a, 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 yeah. some stairs and shooting and double yeah, gunning yeah, and motherfucker yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. other scenes that where it, all this connection, like, again, they're in the hospital and they, they jump out through the morgue mm. shooting. Get on one of the stretchers, yeah, yeah. the stretchers rolling. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just exactly. so cold. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, John, yeah, John Wall's creative mind was just ahead of his brilliant. time. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, man. Like, I think he's coming out with something new recently, man. Well, he done know, that. He think... done that. Um, what do you call it? The Silent Night one, which was awesome. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, Silent Night. Yeah, yeah. That was I saw it in cinema. Again, that man. was sick. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that at home. And that, again, that was brilliant, man. Like, he just, he he has his touches. And you know that's a John Woo movie. Be it Doves, be it a long black jacket with two Berettas. That was his famous gun, bro, two Berettas. Um, I don't know. He's just, he's magical when it comes to action movies, bro. Um, and, yeah, I mean, like, you don't know. Can anyone come close to him? Everyone's got their own different touches yeah, anyway but he had it man. i mean tarantino's inspired yeah. by john wall like all of these movies like yeah. you can't say that they're not inspired by john, john, wall. john wall was probably inspired by other movies i mean definitely was by, inspired yeah. by other yeah, yeah, yeah. so it just it's just an evolution of you know action movies but also um creative action movies not just killing people mm. for the sake of it which obviously happens in the movies but making mm. it creative making it yeah. art which you know mm. people might be killing people's art right? it's, it's a movie right um, it's a movie, but yeah, action yeah. movie art man that's what i'm saying it makes it artistic yeah. and these the, that's what i'm yeah, saying man. the john woo the john wicks the extraction of the equilibrium even though it's so fucking cool it's art on the big screen yeah, it's yeah, action yeah. art on the big yeah. screen and john woo's a part of that lineage yeah yeah that's it oh, who is it um jonah hill or was it jonah hill or uh chan tate was saying nothing better than doves man Stuff flying yeah. everywhere. That's it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like when you watch those <laughs> movies and when you see the John Woo movie, you know that that's just a, a little reference to John Woo. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, brilliant movie. I I really enjoyed watching this movie again. We did it because it turned 32, and then I, you know we got a little shout out from John Woo or a little repost from John Woo. Uh, and I was like, yeah, let's let's do this movie as this week's retro movie review. So guys, if you haven't seen Hard Boiled, check it out. Check it out. If you're an action fan, mm. if you love all this John Wick stuff, if you love, you have to go back and, and check out mm. the lineage of where this stuff came from. You've got to check out mm. the action, uh, one of the action pioneers of, of, of John Woo and, you know, Chai Yun Fat just being such a cool actor as well. And Tony Long, yeah, if man. you've seen Shang-Chi mm. and this whole thing about Tony Long, this legend, Hong Kong acting legend coming into we're, that movie. We're excited for like, him, man. Go back some watch of his old one of his old films. This is a classic one to definitely watch to see where he comes where, where you know his his some of his work basically. He played a good role in remember that film Bullet in the Head. Yes, of course. Another was a good movie. movie. Yeah, that was Joe, yeah, yeah, that was a good movie as well, man. Definitely. All cool. Right. All right. Well, guys, check that one out. Hard boiled this week's retro movie review. Um, super exciting. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Guys, that was it for this, it. Week's, this week's podcast, man. I mean, it was good to have Ash on um, yeah, to kind of jump in with us and hopefully we'll try and get you in as much as possible. Uh, but do yeah, check man. out the gaming channel. Ash is always playing games on there, so check that out. Uh, I'm thinking about changing the game room. I, I think I discussed it with you. Maybe get a corner desk, gaming monitor, get rid of the big TV, you know, try and make it a study, study room as well as a gaming room as well for the kids, man. But let's see, Edward, that's the future. Feature thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. figure that stuff out, man. We're yeah, trying to make things a bit more efficient and whatnot. Um, yeah. But yeah, guys, look, cool. I'll, look you know, um, again, guys, I said it in the beginning, but, you know, thank you for all the uh, the support. Thanks for the subscribers. If you're mm -hmm. not a subscriber and you've listened to the whole podcast all the way through, thank you. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. If you like this content, subscribe. Yeah, uh, check the channel channels out. Check our social medias out. Well, Ash not on it, but check the Brothers Geek Out social medias. We're going to have our trailer reactions. We're going to have our movie reactions. We're going to have uh, podcast clips. Yeah. And um, we're going to give, um, you know, the, the premieres and, and the uh, the movie, um, what do you call them? Not premieres. Premieres and... Uh, Fuck, I'm blank. 
No, the, the the screening, screening, screening. Screening. So, um, okay. Yeah, all of that stuff is all going to be out there. What we're up to, guys, we're putting in, the, we're trying to do our best to put in the work, regardless of being shadow banned or whatnot. We're still going to do our thing. But we reached 700 subscribers on YouTube, which is yeah, great. Man. So thank you, yeah, guys, man. for the support. Thank you. And uh, on that note, guys, we're going to leave it there. Guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And we'll catch thank you on you. next week's episode. Yeah. Peace. Peace, guys.